What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to the 82 rated Scream Shakiri player review. So there are a lot of Scream cards out there that I haven't reviewed, but the reviews on previous Scream cards didn't go down that well, so I don't know whether you want me to do more of them, but Shakiri is one of those ones that I, I want to do, regardless of whether it gets views or not, I don't really care, because I need to share this card with the rest of the world. He is absolutely incredible. I mean, his stats obviously change around. You can get one week, you can have insane shooting like we do now on the on the fresh cycle with the blue background. We have 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 89 volleys, 83 finishing, as opposed to his standard card. That um, I mean, that's up by about 12 to 15 points across the board for shooting. He's up about 20 points across the board for physical, and everything else remains the same. Now, that being said... Uh, he was always good in front of goal anyway, so the shooting boost isn't really that big a deal for me. I, I would like a dribbling boost so we get the agility, balance and reactions and things like that. Or maybe even an acceleration boost where we have 99-99. That would be insane as well. Now having said that, I'm not that bothered to be honest. Whatever he gets boosted will benefit him apart from potentially defending. Well, I'm not looking forward to that cycle and I might have to bench him for that. But uh, he is brilliant. And as you can tell, we've gone into the old style very briefly here because I've just collected these clips from the Road to Glory. Um, when I was playing, in f these are all in foot champs, by the way. We haven't had the, the best of starts in, in foot champs, but we've not had the worst of starts either. And uh, I have Shakiri to thank for a lot of it because he's my favourite player in my road to glory. And I do have the likes of Firmino, Mertens, Insigne, you know, those type of cards. Alexis Sanchez comes off the bench as well. As you can see, um, we I'm reviewing him. I, I kind of wanted to review him just strictly based off the, the updated stats because that's now what the card is. You know, the old stats where he had that dribbling boost have now gone. You know, that we don't have those anymore. However, these clips, as you can tell from the card popping up, are from that period, but then I do play a live game where I've used the new stats, and I've used the new stats, uh, like, I don't know, in about five or six games so far, so I can give you a uh, perspective from both sides. I I think I actually prefer this one, uh, this iteration with the shooting boost, even though I don't feel like he needed it. I don't know why, but I just feel like anything I hit now will challenge the goalkeeper, if not hit the back of the net. He is absolutely menacing in front of goal. He is an incredible player. And uh, I've been criticised for buying him on my road to glory. Um, I've been called delusional from from some people for buying him and, and, and using him instead of the player of the month, Lucas. And it's not because he's a Liverpool fan and I'm a Liverpool fan. It's got absolutely nothing to do with it. He could play for Birmingham, and I've said this before. It's just that he cuts in on that left foot and magic happens, you know. He's got 99 long shots, 99 shot power. And yes, of course, when the cycle comes around again, uh, there is a list, actually, of dates where you can see where the full moons are going to happen. And that is roughly the date, because I think the last full moon was around the 24th, 25th. And then, like, a day later, we got the change. So, you know, it, it's in around that time. You have to find the list of it. I, I saw it on Twitter somewhere, but... um. Yeah, it's not for a little while uh, longer now, so we do have a, probably a month or so left of this Shakiri, and then he'll have a cycle again. So long as that 90 rated doesn't go on to his defending, we'll be laughing, because yes, if he goes on defending, it's going to be a shame, it's going to be a waste, but if it goes on to pace, for instance, or it goes on to passing, it's going to benefit him. He's one of those cards that it doesn't matter where it goes, bar defending, it will benefit. So with that being said, I think he's a fantastic card. Now I do have... Um, a different chem style on him uh, in the clips. I've got a catalyst on him, and that's because, of course, he had the dribbling boost, and he already had good shooting, so I didn't really need to do anything else. So uh, I just boosted um, whatever it is, catalyst boosts. But I've changed that now to, I think, an engine would, would benefit him more with a slight boost to sprint speed and helping out the dribbling stats as well, where we didn't need to do that before uh, with the catalyst chem style, because obviously... Um, his passing needed more work than his dribbling because his dribbling was at 90. But apart from that, for an 84 and under card, although technically speaking, he's not really. He is He's higher than that, you know, because of the, the, the stat boost. But still, for an 84 and under card, this guy is incredible. And I would definitely recommend him to anybody. We're going to go live now and talk more about the team. So obviously we line up as a 4-4-2. And if you've seen any of the reviews the last few days, I think you kind of know what's coming here. But... Uh, uh, Shakiri doesn't, he kind of does play on the right hand side, but it's of a different, uh, in a different formation. Now, if we go to uh, Ultra Attacking, which is the, the setting I use, 
I've changed these slightly, I'm still tweaking. We have press after possession loss, four bars on width and depth, balance on offensive style, uh, five on width, five on players in the box, one on corners, although uh, that's a lie because those should be on two. I've uh, been toying with, um, with that for a few days. Formation switches to a 4 triple 2 Shakiri plays on the right-hand side of that, so he does act as if he's a right winger, but he's slightly deeper than what a 4-2-4 would do. And then, of course, instructions. Now, instructions on both strikers stay central, get behind. We have Shakiri to get in the box of the cross, and that's it. Same for Insigne. And then Allen is cover center as well as Fabinho. And my opponent has a pretty decent team. I've uh, got Ronaldo in there, of course. He will end up going up front. Nine Golan will switch to the midfield, I'm sure. Yeah, good, good little team, that. Good little team. Florenzi picks it up inside to Fabinho, to Firmino. This is where Shakiri's had the first chance to run at the defence. Cuts inside nicely, goes for goal. And that is in the back of the net. And that's exactly what he can do to you. This guy's team, by the way, is absolutely incredible. He's brought on Neymar for Balde Diao now. Prashito is doing exceptionally well in that position. And, uh, wow, Nangolan scored an unbelievable goal. And I think that's what he's trying to do. He's tried that so many times where he could have just squared it across the face of goal. And instead, he's just tried to smash it near post. He's got away with it that time. It's a very good finish. Shakiri picks it up, gets fouled. Referee says play on. The referees in this game need to be tweaked, man. They, they are so lenient with things like that. I mean, that is a foul. All day long. I tell you what, it says zero shots on target. I don't quite understand that unless it means that uh, hitting the post isn't on target. But uh, yes, he's had a lot of the ball, as you would expect. His team is absolutely fantastic. But he's shooting from really stupid angles. He got that goal with nine goal, which was great. Second half, we need to uh, step it up a little bit. And I'm going to take off Insigne because he's not really doing it for me. Alexis Sanchez is going to come on. And we're going to see if that does anything. I'm also going to go constant pressure in this second half to see if we can really sort of force ourselves upon him. Constant pressure has started to work already for us though. Shakiri, I can see that run through. Shakiri's in on goal and he scores with the outside of his left. And I'll tell you what, this guy is absolutely insane. He's so good. Even before the, 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 the cycle where his shooting got boosted, he was scoring for fun. But now that he has perfect shooting, it's, it's incredible. Look at this for a finish. Bang. Great goal. Fabinho, here's Firmino, oh, could he make it, oh, it's going to come to, Sh oh my god, I was going to pull the trigger with Shakiri, and the ref has given us the free kick, which I didn't want, Crescito's ball to Alexi Sanchez is decent, Sanchez on the turn, uh, not, not, not in that way, of course, uh, Alan pokes it through to Firmino, going to have to just turn this and hit it with the left, just wide of the mark, very, very close though, and a quick pass, very quick pass in by all involved there. Shakiri back into the path of Firmino. And that is 3-1 against a mega team. And it's it's just been very simple second half since going constant pressure. He can't seem to cope with it up front. We nick the ball. Counter attack is really lightning quick. And that's an assist for Shakiri. Great goal. Verdi out wide to Sabitza. Back inside to Verdi first time. And that's 4-1. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, some people spend a lot of money on the game to try and compensate, and uh, it hasn't worked today. I'm really happy with that, because I thought he was going to absolutely ruin me. Well, as you can see from the from the stats, he played a 9.4. Uh, Firmino played a 9.5 to his credit. Uh, he got two goals, Firmino got one goal, and he got one assist with Firmino got two. Obviously, that's why he picked up the... Uh, the Man of the Match award, and played slightly better. Shots on target, 2 of 4 for Shakiri. Uh, passes complete, 14 of 18, not a bad little return. Dribbles complete, 13 of 16, again, not a bad uh, little return. 0 of 1 crosses. As you can see, I play very little in the way of crosses. I just don't feel like they work for me with the players that I have, because I have very short players. But uh, Shakiri in particular then... Just played an absolute worldie. You're probably thinking, could he possibly brown nose Shakiri anymore? No, I'm probably at my limit, if I'm honest. But having said that, I will talk about the negatives very briefly. Sprint speed is a shame uh, that it's as low as it is. Once he gets that 90 cycle around to the sprint speed and the pace, that will be phenomenal. And I would happily take a, a dip in physicality for that as well. So if we can get the 90 shooting, 90 pace, that's going to be insane. Uh, the crossing is low. And again, the engine chem style sort of ticks all these boxes. So the reaction. Actions are low. 
Well, we get plus five with an engine. The the sprint speed is low. We get plus five with an engine. The crossing is low. We get plus five with an engine. So we've ticked all boxes there, and we've lifted them to above 80. 85 reactions, 82 sprint speed, 83 crossing. Then turns into an 88 rated right wing. Very respectable indeed with an absolute jackhammer of a left foot. And I would definitely recommend this to anyone running a Premier League team who doesn't necessarily have the best of right mids. Uh, just an absolutely insane player. And at the moment, he's very respectable about 60k as well 55k rather so that's not even that expensive for the type of player that you get in here i thoroughly enjoy him and uh, you should let me know what you think in the comments down below if you want to review any other screen cards let me know who if you have enjoyed the video smack the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye